VFK2 or CVM VM10K2. Both very close in price, so which one is better? Hi, Taylor here at Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For a one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. The ViewFlex VF-K2 and the Comica CVM VM10K2 both have a carrying case, mini tripod, dead cat cover, and cord to connect your smartphone to the microphone. Comica is a better known brand and it comes in at only $49.99 at the time of this recording. ViewFlex, a brand I'm new to, comes a bit higher at $55.99 at the time of this recording. Let's first listen to some Comica sample footage. So James and I are currently using the Comica CVM VM10K2 microphone, boom microphone. And we are currently recording, babes. That's why you can't swipe to look at more videos. So yeah, he loves to watch videos, don't you? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> This is the Comica CVM VM 10K2 Boom Microphone, and we're gonna do a little comparison to the ViewFlex. Cannot say view today. Well, which one do you like more, James? Bob I do. He likes apple juice. Now we're outside with the Comica and I have their dead cat on. I really hate that phrase, dead cat, but we have that on. Uh, it's not super windy out here today, but it's still gonna give us a good idea for how the sound is being captured and uh, how the sound quality is. And uh, yeah, it's a nice day though. A little hot, I will say, but it is a nice Arizona day outside. Now this is a sample clip of the Comica Boom microphone without any windscreens. And so I did a test with the regular windscreen. I did a test with the dead cat. I hate that phrase. <laughs> and now I'm just trying to see how just having the plain exposed microphone is sounding. As you can hear, it has a great sound quality. I also really appreciate the bag because it is really neat and organized and you can have all the accessories you need right in there. The tripod is a ball head, but let's be honest, it really does feel like plastic and twisting this clamp to try to get my phone to the right size was a bit annoying, especially because of the guess and check time and then opening it way too much and having to close it completely. So is the ViewFlex a lesser known brand worth the extra $6? Let's listen to some of those sample tracks. This is the FlexView K2 Boom microphone, and this is James. Uh, uh, Mama? Yes, babe? Oh no. Oh no, you took it apart. <laughs> We're doing a comparison video, and he just took apart the other Comica microphone. Which one do you like more? Hmm? <laughs> He likes apple juice more. Okay, so right now I am outside with the ViewFlex and I'm using the dead cat on there to see how it is. Let's first say hi to Yoko. Oh, she's running away. Okay, well let's go outside and more into the outdoors in the backyard. It's not the windiest. It, I don't know, it doesn't seem to ever get that windy in Arizona, but we'll still get in a little bit of wind and we'll see how this is and see how it is outside. You know, I'm walking around and of course, if I was really trying to do a tour of any sort and walk around, I would definitely put this on a gimbal, but still getting a good idea for how this sounds outside. Here's a sample clip of the ViewFlex boom microphone without any windscreen. So I don't have the regular windscreen on there. I don't have the dead cat on there. Uh, we're just walking around with the exposed microphone to see how that's sounding. And although it's not that windy, I, I am curious if we need to use the windscreen or not. Especially if it, if it was windy though, you, you definitely wanna use the, the dead cat if you're in a windy area. So I went back and forth on the clips and I really couldn't hear much of a difference between the two. The sound quality was great on both of them. 
They both come with the accessories that I need. I appreciate Comica's bag more because there are perfectly cut out sections and it's a lot more organized. But as a whole, the Viewflex VF K2 just feels like a better product. The clamp is an aluminum alloy and feels durable. The spring release for the cell phone makes for a much faster setup and teardown time. The sticks of the tripod are metal and more sturdy. And it's also a more of a flexible kit because you can record both horizontally and vertically versus the Comica you're limited to only horizontal. Also, it comes with an extra cold shoe mount so I could add a light to my setup. If you're choosing between these two smartphone kits, I would spend the extra few dollars and go for the Viewflex VF K2. If you have any other questions about these, please leave them in the comments below.